Hello everyone and welcome back to the show. Today on your daily starter, let's talk about the need to finish the things we start. On today's video, you will learn why it's important and how you can consistently finish the things you start. Hello friend, this is the voice of Ademola Murebishe. Hello friend. I think it's important for us to make a rule, right? A rule that, you know, thou shall not start whatever it is you are not willing to finish. Like, make that rule that I don't start something if I know I'm not going to see it through, if I'm not going to finish it, I am not going to start it, okay? I mean, if there's one thing that plagues people, right, is the fact that we, we tend to leave a trail, a long trail of abandoned projects, right? I mean, we just start something, you start it, we do it a little, abandon. Start a second thing, abandon, and and it's like repeat itself. A lot of times we might be victim of what some people call um, the shiny new object syndrome, right? Whereby, I mean, if you learn about something, you learn something today and you're excited, you're hyped, like, yeah, this is the greatest thing since sliced bread. I need to have this in my life and all that, right? And then it gets started, right? But then, I mean, in the middle, in the midst, maybe you are like three, three steps in and boom. Something else is catching your attention on the other side. So you shift your attention to the new thing, totally forgetting about this one, and that becomes, you know, an abandoned project, right? So we have abandoned projects, abandoned courses, especially online courses, <laughs> you know. I mean, the other day I was reviewing some statistics that said that over 90% of those that participate in online courses, especially the free online courses, that most of them, they never finish, you know. I mean, it's so bad that it's just all over the place, right? Abandoned project every single place. But you cannot live a life of super success. You cannot focus your, your inner energy enough to become successful if you don't have the basic discipline to finish anything you start, right? And one key reason why you want to make that deal with yourself and say, I'm never going to start anything I know I'm not going to finish. The reason you want to make that argument with yourself is because it teaches you to be responsible and it empowers you on the inside, right? That confidence you have that I'm a man of my word and I am not going to start anything I know I am not going to finish, okay? Because once you cross that line that I never start anything I'm not going to finish, you are going to get into the habit whereby your words will carry some weight to yourself, right? But what I mean is this, you know, a lot of times when you tell yourself, I'm going to stop doing this or I'm going to start doing that, honestly, you don't even believe yourself <laughs> like you know and i mean if you are if you are unable to convince yourself i go to convince others to buy into your vision and things like that right so it's as simple as telling yourself if i start something i am going to finish this thing i have started and so you have to think of how you can consciously carry that mindset throughout your life like I won't start reading this book if I know I'm not finished reading this book. I'm not going to start that course if I know I'm not finished the course. I'm not going to start you know, working on this project if I know I am not going to uh, finish up this project, right? So your timelines might change. Like you get, you got started thinking it will take me three days tops, right? Then it turns out you need two weeks. That's still fine, okay? So the project can drag out. The project timeline might you know, be, be, be more than what you planned initially. The project might even stall, like stalling, you know. <laughs> even the project stall is still okay. But deep down within, you've made you've crossed that line that you are never, never, never ever going to start something that you know you are not going to finish. And once you can cross that line, it makes you a better person. And I imagine it also makes the world a better place, isn't it? So you start looking out for, you know, um, the kinds of things that make you lose focus on projects, right? I think one major reason you can, one major way you can, you know, scale that huddle, that huddle is by reminding yourself why you are doing this, you know. It's good to have a good motivation for whatever project you are doing, right? Like, this is why I'm doing this, this is the motivation, this is what I'm trying to achieve with this particular project, right? So, when you get started, inevitable, right, at some point you get stuck or you lose the motivation or something happened, right? Rather than shift focus now, you remind yourself why you got started. This is why I'm doing this thing. This is why I'm doing the things I'm doing. And when you have that kind of reminder, right, that puts you back on track, I mean, it becomes easier for you to get back, you know, on track and finish that thing that you started. You want to avoid friends that encourage you to abandon things halfway. You know, it's not, if you have people around you that, you know, when you abandon projects, they don't try to call your attention back to what, you are, to what you've abandoned. That could be a sign that you need some new people in your life, you know. So, you want to ensure 
that you only start the things you are going to finish. I cannot, <laughs> I cannot explain enough how this is going to be a big deal for you going forward. So make that decision, focus on your project, get the right motivation, get the support system, get people around you that can help you stay focused and ensure that you complete everything you start, right? And once you get that done, I'm so sure that your life will, will go, will undergo a very, very unique transformation. Why don't you repeat after me this morning? Say, God daily loads me with benefits. I am bold and strong. Every day, in every way, I am getting better and better. My name is Ademola Morebiche. Thank you so much for taking our time to check out this video. Remember, you can lead a formidable life. Have a great day.